Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Today, we're going to build a meat eater pen over yonder. And electrified, <laughs> electrified light fence is not what we're going to be using. In fact, I am being an idiot, and we should probably... Hmm. I want to make sure this can be seen pretty much everywhere. Hmm. Maybe one here. And we just I knew you were the person for the job. And as usual, I was right. It this is kind of weird how these are to try to get everything fitted in where they can see all right so if that one was right there we could see there so we need to go like right there probably ish now these are gonna little look a little wonky but i do want a hundred percent visual on this so it looks like we got that covered that covered where is that okay so we're right there maybe that might work this doesn't need to be the world's biggest pen um, and maybe we do one down here, but let's get a Hammond Center in. Tuck it in like right. We'll tuck the Hammond Center in, right? Come on, give me something. Right. Yeah, come on, that was so close. There, got it. And then we, I want to tuck in one more of these buildings. And just to make sure there's an overlap, let's go over here. Um, I know this is not going to be ideal. And honestly, we don't even really need it to be in there. Um, yeah, this should work. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then now we can put up our enclosure. And the reason I wanted to have that one there is one of the pens early, if you guys remember, we missed that. And uh, it may have, may come back to bite us a little bit. I'm going to do this wall just like this for right now. Um, over here, we might not have the visual all taken care of, but... We can adjust that later. I want to make sure this pen is good for the Ceratops. I feel like the Ceratops is one of the ones that I think it needs two. So we're going to find out real quick here whether it does or not. Because we're going to work on the Hammond Center. And this guy is actually not going to be in the deal. He's going to be back a little bit. Um, and we're going to need some water. I think this pen is going to be big enough for them. I'm trying to get hotels in behind it is the plan. And let's go ahead and get a gate somewhere with easy access, like right there. Um, and let's get a road in. Hmm. Let's make this. Nope, not like that. Let's curve it a little bit. Let's try to make this look nice. Yeah, all right, all right. That looks really good like that. Nope, nope. And we can do a little curve. Oh, not. Nope, that's not not what I had in mind there. That's too much of a curve. Let's start it with that and curve it. I mean, I wish I could get that one side a little bit better, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. All right, it looks like we're going to have a path connecting here. And let's get this one up. Oh, you can come off straight because you're going to be squared off real nice. All right, so far, so good. Now, I'm really hoping we can get a couple hotels in here. Um, that's kind of my end game diddly doodler over here. Let's get these roads connected while we get this out. 
Um, just like that. Sometimes the roads won't let you place it unless you get them a little sideways. It's okay by me. We might actually be able to fit a um, thing down here as well. We have a feeder that needs... All right, let's get that feeder refilled. And I think we could actually put this guy on. Just refill them all. Oh, I guess they don't really need it, do they? You can come down here and get eaten by the T-Rex if you want. Yeah, no, that feeder's good. So I think we're good on that front. All right, let's get water in here. Um, yeah, let's get water in first, actually. I want to make sure we get that in. Let's do water maybe in the middle a little bit here. Just enough for them to drink. And let's add some forest. I don't remember how much ceratops need for forest. But I don't think it's like a super crazy amount. So, oh, no, that's Craig. We don't want Craig. We want to do forest and we can maybe do some along the back here just like that let's get this building upgraded uh success rate threes we're just gonna do that also we need to get these guys powered no um we need to pick up another contract for her though while we're in here i really like this one all right yeah that'll work for right now and we need a meat eater ology dilly diddly. Grown feeder carnivore. You so it's a big it. carnivore feeder. And this one here. Now, power. I'm thinking we're going to be sitting pretty good. So there's no power. Um. Man, we really don't need a big one here, do we? Could just do a little one here. Like, can we get her to fit right? Oh, that was really close. There we go. And we'll get this connected over here. We may be able to put a hotel there, actually, now that I think about it. And we need another power. Whoop. We'll Put one. We'll put one over here, and I think everything will be on that power. All right, one more here and here. Now, what does not have power? Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to upgrade. We don't need that guy done. Man, we're gonna have to make another power plant. Right? Or can we just upgrade one? Looks like they're all upgraded. Pooey. Alright, let's get a power plant somewhere. Um, power. I kind of want to do a big one. Can we do a little one there? Actually, that wouldn't be a bad spot for a little one, would it? Alright, that should take care of our power problems. Um, oh, I do got to connect that wire back there. That's why that was up. Okay, so let's connect that from here. Is there any way we could just take that straight to the other power plant? No, of course not, because that would be too easy, game. There we go. That should get us up going on power here, folks. And it looks like we have another awesome uh, pen going up. And this is really going to be cool. We'll have another carnivore pen going for a permanent run. Because we will use it after this mission is over. Alright guys, I'm going to call our episode here. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.